I don't think anybody within the system can be naive enough first to think betraying Raila is a walk in the park. Because Raila functioned be functions best under crisis. So Okichokora Raila, and you create a crisis for him, then the man emerges. He's a man who works under crisis, under tension. He will come up with surprises. He's a man who can cobble a wonderful and working coalition. Nobody expected code in 2013. Nobody expected NASA in 2017. That is Raila for you. So I don't think it's a, it's a question of betraying Raila. Neither do I think Uhuru Kenyatta or the deep state or the system, whoever you think is responsible, I don't think those people would be naive enough to imagine that 2022, any of these guys in the, they are calling themselves secret coalition, one Kenya coalition, people have called them Serela coalition, Niondoke coalition, Niachie coalition, and those me coalition. I've given all man of names. It's not even fair to them. These are very good people. Gideon is a good man. Mudawad is my neighbor and a good man. Kalonzo, good gentleman. Wetangula, Weta, beautiful guys. So don't use bad names on them. But tell them the truth, which I keep telling them. And that's why I doubt the system would fail to see this. None of these guys would beat William Ruto. I said they will have them for breakfast. None of them. They don't have it. And I also got, got thinking. Supposing Ruto were to team with, with Raila, which is quite unlikely. But you can imagine the energy. The energy that Ruto and Raila will bring into the campaign. Who in this Serelac team, if you call it Serelac, I'm sorry to call them, let's just say call, call them the Amani coalition, the, the, the One Kenya coalition. Who in this coalition can face the combined energy of Raila Odinga and William Ruto? They would not. So I doubt really, even, even if Raila kept out of this thing, for 2022, none of these guys can beat. And I was also in the village in Western Kenya. Everybody is excited about Mudabadi being the president. And they are giving all manner of reasons and painting pictures. I also suspect the same is happening in Ukambani. And the same is in Baringo and Rift Valley. Everybody thinks that Gideon will get. I am asking those who, some, I was having a cup of tea somewhere and somebody told me, Manyora, you are a very bad man. You don't want us to get this thing. I say, if you are saying Ruto was dealt a blow by Huru, because Uhuru was using Raila. And therefore, Raila's job is done. And that's why, after Ruto has been neutralized, Uhuru is settling on Mdavad. So I asked this, this gentleman, who by the way bought me the cup of tea, I asked them, gentlemen, if Raila can betray, if, if Uhuru can betray Raila, what makes you think he will not betray Mdavad? What makes you think? What makes you think he will not then, be, after betraying Ruto, betraying Raila, what makes you think he won't betray Mdavadi in favor of Gideon? And by the way, if you ask me, that coalition is all about Gideon Moy. And if the intelligence and the deep state and the system and the Uhuru are intelligent people, and I'm going to do an open letter to Uhuru Kenyatta next week or thereabouts to talk about this thing exhaustively, and offer my free advice. If Uhuru intends to make Gideon president, and I've said repeatedly, he will need to give this thing to a caretaker man like Raila Odinga. And in 2027, he'll become the president. Easy. So where is the Mdaba in that picture? It is not about 2022. I suspect what Uhuru is doing is building these regional coalitions and blocks Strengthening Joho, Kingi, removing the differences between Joho and King and the rest. Building the coalition in Western, strengthening Mdabada and Wetangula, bringing in, I, I'm sure even, even this man, um, Kisakitu will be roped in, get small boys, small fellows, Kenadid Masbaraza, get inside, so that you lock Uhuru, uh, root out of that region. And it's for the purpose of BBI. I still believe strongly that Uhuru is about BBI. And therefore, this strengthening regional kingpins is to lock anti-BBI people from those regions. 
2022 may come later. So I advise people to read it that way, that Uhuru is strengthening these regional kingpins for the purpose of BBI and not 2022. BBI is special to Raila. BBI is special to Ruto. And for that reason, to, not Ruto, to Uhuru. Uhuru is not leaving anything to chance. He's trying to ensure that should Ruto at the last moment, like I said, decide to jump into this BBI thing and oppose it, he will find a firewall. So Uhuru is basically building a firewall in each region to make sure that BBI is safe. It goes through, can face any onslaught from Ruto and his people if they decided to oppose it at the last moment. So that's what he's doing, not about 2022. So back to ODM Brigade, leave it. Back to the One Kenya Coalition. Understand Uhuru's intention to be about BBI and not about making you, making you president.